Hello happy souls, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlotte with Happy Twins 1111. My beautiful friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you guys so much. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and a big shout out to all my loyal old school subscribers that have been with me so long sharing this journey. It really is an honour to be here and share this with you. I'm on this journey too. And even though I know it probably comes across when I'm doing these readings that I've really got my shit together, I promise you. I have the same ups and downs, yeah? The wisdom comes through me, not from me. It's not always easy for me to integrate it either. But we're all in it together, huh? So I did open some bookings up. They sold out pretty quick. So if you've been waiting um, for that to happen and you've missed it, I'm really sorry. They did all sell out really quick. Um, I will let you know via my website's email subscriber list if I open bookings again in the future. I probably will, but at this stage, it's just going to be that one week. Okay, so today we are looking at what does your person actually want? What are their intentions? What do they desire? What do they want to happen between you? And we've got three piles. The first one is the Illus Tarot with Amethyst. The second one is the Light Seers Tarot with Twin Quartz. And the third one is the Muse Tarot with Hexagon Quartz. So take your time choosing a pile. There's no right or wrong way, just whichever one you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, it might just be the case that there's messages in more than one pile for you. Remember, these are general readings, so they're not going to fit for everybody. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And um, don't forget to make a note in the comments of which pile you've actually chosen, because these are timeless readings and you may find your way back to this video at a later date asking the same question and you'll know which pile you've watched already. So let's do this. Pile one. You have chosen the Illus Tarot with Amethyst. This is a fabulous deck. If you are into 90s icons, you'll recognize all the people in this deck. I love this deck. Okay, what does your person want, Pile one? What do they want to happen between you? Let's see what's coming out here. As normal, I'll use a few oracle decks as well. Maybe pull some charms. Oh, that's turned over, so we'll keep that. It's nine of pentacles. Queen of wands in reverse. Five of wands in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. Clarifying. We've got the Seven of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Um, we're going to use the Keeper Fortune Telling Cards. We've got Bad Health, Great Fortune. Concern and false person. And I'm going to use these cards as well. This is the Vessel Oracle. We've got Grief and Light. Okay, let me just check that these are all in shot. Yes, they are. Fabulous. Okay, Paul One, I'm going to be straight with you. Your person is not into a relationship right now. They're not ready. Right now, they are focused on themselves. They're focused on self-fulfillment. They're focused on work. They're focused on abundance. They're focused on furthering their career and independence. They've got their barriers up with this Seven of Wands. You know, this person doesn't feel ready to go into a relationship. Now, with a grief card and bad health, I do feel this person may have lost someone recently. Perhaps they themselves are recovering from bad health, but they have certainly gone through a period of trauma or grieving. And they're coming out the other side, and right now they just want to have fun. With the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Three of Cups, I do think this person would be open to dating you. They would be open to friends with benefits. You know, there's definitely a lot of passion and sexiness here, but there's also games. And they're aware that they play games. With the Five of Wands in reverse, though, you know, they don't want to. And they do put you on a pedestal and kind of see you as someone that is worth so much more than that. They're just not ready to commit. They're all about having fun right now you know they don't want to take life seriously they don't want a relationship 
they, they're just not interested in getting serious. There is a lot of um, apology coming through here from this person because they are aware that they've kind of blown hot and cold and they've meshed you around somewhat. But this person just really doesn't feel ready for love. We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse and this is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And this tells me that deep down this person is just intimacy avoidant. They are afraid of rejection. They're afraid of abandonment. And so I feel like this person's had a really traumatic relationship in the past. And ever since then, they just want to keep it light. You know, they just they just want to focus on having a good time. Now, we've got great fortune here as well. And I do feel like this person is, is very much focused on that. They've got big career goals. You know, they see themselves going places. I'm hearing that this person may also wish to travel. They could have come into money, which has given them the freedom to invest in business, to invest in travel or good times. And they're just concerned um, about getting involved. Now, as I said, false person. This, this person isn't able to show you who they really are. You know, they're still hiding. Um... I'm guided that you're not to take this personally. You know, you've just met this person at the wrong time. They're genuinely um, attracted to you. You know, they definitely find you very sexy, very attractive, and they do want to date you and have fun with you. But right now, this person is definitely not ready to commit and they are not ready to invest in a deep relationship. Let's get some information about why that is. Why doesn't this person want to commit? I think we've kind of... Ace of Swords... Five of Swords and the Empress. So it just feels like for them, this isn't their path right now. They're also, you know, part of this intimacy avoidance that they suffer with is very strongly connected to a previous relationship. And this could be them, a mother figure, whether this is their mum or someone they've already had children with. It could have been their mum that they've lost. But I'm hearing here that, you know, they're just very intimidated by that very intimate energy. You know, they just don't see that that's their true path. There's definitely been some really traumatic events connected to the the mother figure this could be an ex that they have a kid with it might be their own mother you know in the environment they've grown up in but either way you know they've got wounds relating to this that they haven't yet released they're very afraid of confrontation they're very afraid of toxicity and they've decided you know the easiest way to deal with this is just not to get involved so let's see how they feel about you what else do they feel about you king of cups so this person does have very deep feelings for you there's two pack here <laughs> and and the empress is um oh god what's her name i should know her my actual twin loves her um Chardé. so they do have deep feelings for you this is scorpio energy um but those feelings are very much contained you know, they, they just don't feel able to communicate them and they don't feel able to really embody them or to acknowledge them within themselves. This is someone I said who's very avoidant and, you know, they are prepared to risk losing you rather than risk going through the pain that they've experienced in love before. This person right now just needs to focus on themselves. They need to keep things light. Um, yeah, they're just, they're not they're not ready yeah look we've got the three of swords as well these are very painful energies this person's grieving they're going through a really really difficult time so let's see if there's any long-term potential here what can you expect from this person in the long term four of cups in reverse the star in reverse the king of swords nine of swords in reverse i'm going to be real with you This person may come out of this period of kind of solitude, you know, the self-imposed solitude. But with the star in reverse, it doesn't seem like this connection looks very hopeful, if I'm honest with you. Um, the king of swords is quite a cold energy as well. I think at best you may end up being kind of friends with this person. Perhaps you know them through work or business. 
Um, air energy is all about kind of mental communication, intellectual sharing ideas. So there definitely doesn't look to be any romance on the cards here in the future. With the Nine of Swords reversed, I do see them coming out of that period of grief and that could open up the playing field again. But as far as the cards are concerned, I don't see anything in the immediate future or the near long term. I don't think the cards really look more than six months ahead, to be frank with you. So certainly in that time frame, I don't see any movement with this person. Um, it's not that they don't have feelings for you. It's not that they don't like you or that they're not attracted to you. You guys are just on the same page, not on the same page. You know, you've met the wrong time. So let's see what the guidance is for you. The Knight of Swords the devil and the hierophant in reverse. So honestly, you need to take action to address your own kind of obsessive nature when it comes to relationships. The devil does indicate kind of infatuation, obsession, addiction. For some of you, it may be an actual addiction to substances or some other unhealthy, destructive behaviours that you use a coping mechanism. But the devil does also indicate conditional love, um, unhealthy attachment, and you know a distorted view of what relationships are. So spirit is really saying to you, you're not actually ready for a relationship. This person isn't, and you definitely aren't. If you have a relationship now, it's going to be toxic because you've not yet learned how to interact, communicate, and um, I, I guess actually have a healthy relationship. You're, you still have a lot of wounds, a lot of, um, a lot of dysfunction in your family history that has created certain behaviors that are very codependent and very unhealthy. They don't serve you and they don't serve any potential partners. So Spirit is asking you to really think about this, to research this in fact. You need to get on Google and research codependence, self-love deficit. You know, you need, you need to use this time to work on yourself. With the Hierophant here, there is a resistance to taking responsibility for your own lessons. Um, the Hierophant is about transformation and higher learning and wisdom um, through spirit, in fact. It's a, it's a spiritual learning. And so spirit's saying, you know, when, when you turn your attention to your higher self, to, to your deep subconscious, that, that part of yourself that's more deeply connected to all that is, that's where you're going to find truth and healing. And there isn't a resistance here um, for taking responsibility for your own behaviors and your own actions. Um, yeah, I feel like you're triggered very easily in relationships. You know, you're the sort of person that's waiting by the phone, wondering why they've not texted you back straight away, getting your knickers in a twist when they're not behaving how, how you want them to behave. Um, you know, you, you demonstrate quite needy tendencies, and this can be very off-putting um, for anyone in a relationship, but it's not healthy for you. It keeps you stuck in pain. It keeps you stuck in dependence, and it, it makes you vulnerable um, you know, when you're loving yourself and you've healed these broken parts of yourself, you're able to approach a relationship from a much healthier state of mind. Um, you're able to take it or leave it because you don't rely on it to mo make you feel good. Um, I don't necessarily see that this is a twin flame connection. There aren't many indicators of that here. What I just see is two very wounded people that aren't ready to have a relationship with each other or anyone else. Your person is definitely you know, up for something more casual. Um, but I don't think in your current state, this is something you're going to be able to cope with. You know, you want commitment. And um, I've got to be really honest with you. I don't think you're ready for commitment. I think you've got some healing to do. Um, and if you want a long-term relationship, you need to start, you know, reflecting on the previous relationships you've had, how they went wrong and taking some ownership for your part in that because it's never one person's fault. It's always the bit in the middle. You know, even in the empath narcissist paradigm or victim abuser, even in those really extreme cases, one cannot exist without the other. Yeah, a narcissist can't be abusive without someone that enables that abuse. So you have to question, well, why did you tolerate toxic relationships, which parts of you are broken that makes you dishonor yourself, disempower yourself by staying in relationships that don't serve you. If you can't fix that part of you, you're going to attract relationships that just 
offer you more of the same. You know, that lesson will keep repeating until you're prepared to take ownership of what's, you know, taking, moving you towards those kind of connections in the first place. So I really hope that helped part one. I'm sorry it's not the news you wanted to hear. Um, but I do think, you know, that it's probably a good thing that this person isn't ready for you because you definitely need some time alone. So I'm sending you lots of love and lots of thanks. And um, I will see you next time, part one. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and to hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more readings like this. There is a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you tap that, it will notify you every time I post. And you can also find me on Instagram at happysouls1111 where I post regular mini reads over there. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Okay, party. You have chosen the Twin Quartz and the Light Seers Tarot. Let's see what Spirit has to say. What does this person want from this connection? What do they want to happen? What are their intentions for you and them? What are their desires? Let's see what's happening here. We have got the world in reverse. The Hierophant, the King of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups, the Death, Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. We're going to use some Oracle cards as well. I've got these Kippa fortune telling cards. Privileged lady, poverty, toil and labour, main male, we've got grief, release. Okay, I mean, this person knows it's not over between you, but I do feel that they're also reluctant to move this forward. This person's going through a period of deep transformation. We've got grief, he grief here in the death card, and I feel like they've had some kind of traumatic ending in their life. This could be a literal death that also came up in part one, although the energies here are quite different. But to me, it's the end of a relationship, perhaps. That's what rings true. Now, with privileged lady and poverty, I do feel there's a great deal of disparity between the two of you as far as your kind of lifestyle is concerned. It seems like they very much put you on a pedestal and see you as privileged, um, privileged, accomplished, um, you know, someone that's really got their life together. And for them, you know, they definitely come from the other side of the the fence you know we've got toil and labor here and i feel like this person would very much like to be the main man in your life but they're working really hard right now to try and build themselves up to something that actually feels worthy but they've definitely released some kind of um painful circumstance in their life you know there's been a painful ending here which has kind of plunged them into this grief state and very much distracted them from potential relationships you included but they do know it's not over between you again this period this person's transforming they're going through a period of of higher learning um i would also say that there's a lot of spiritual interest here this person may have recently discovered yoga or meditation i'm hearing it's not the really woo woo spiritual stuff but they are open-minded and they're exploring the power of their mind this person's also become aware of the idea that there's there's self-love deficit in them they know that they need to learn to love themselves before they can truly love someone else this person i feel is actually quite emotionally intelligent emotionally mature and you know they don't want to play games with you i feel like they've only offered friendship because they know that they have a lot of unhealthy habits and behaviors in relationships i think they're more aware of their own demeanor and behaviors than um 
I would say most masculine energies, you know, and they don't want to play games with you. They know they're not able to commit at the moment. They're not, they know they're not able to demonstrate deep love or expression of love, and they really don't want to hurt you. So I feel like they're open to friendship. They're open to having a good time with you. But right now, this person really wants to take care of themselves. They want to find the emotional balance within. And so, you know, I, I feel like this person just needs some time um, to continue working on themselves. Let's get some more cards out to see what their long-term intentions are. See if this might change in the future. So we've got the sun. This is really positive. We've got the king of wands in reverse. And we've got the two of pentacles. So these are kind of tentative energies. I do feel like this person just feels such a lot of joy and light when they're around you. Um, but we have got two kings in reverse. They feel very disempowered by the this disparity between your lifestyles and the fact it, it could be a cultural difference. But I do get the impression it's very much to do with the material realms, their job, their money, um, perhaps even education, you know, their cultural status. You might be very upper class, they might be very working class. So, But this person does feel strongly that they don't want to mess you around. They don't want to play games with you, but they do hope for some kind of change in the future. But I feel like they're thinking about that tentatively. You know, they're not planning too far ahead. As I said, they've got quite an emotionally intelligent outlook here they're kind of like you know I can't have a healthy relationship until I've worked on myself and I want to make me the priority so how do they feel about you we've got the eight of swords in reverse the eight of wands in reverse wow two eights and the three of pentacles in reverse now it might be that you used to work with this person or you met them through work. I do feel like you've been a tremendous support for this person in terms of helping them through perhaps anxiety, depression or this grief or, you know, whatever circumstances they had. I'm feeling with a release card, they could have been alcohol problems or some kind of addiction here. You may have even met this person in rehab or something. Um, but for sure, there is an energy here of, you know, not wanting to rush into anything, an energy of holding back holding back on their communication. So you may have found that they can be a bit cold, but in reality, you might think you can help this person, you can heal together, you've got lots in common, you're on the same page. They feel very strongly this is something they want to do on their own. Um, I am hearing that you may have been quite pushy in trying to help this person, and they do feel very, very resistant to that. That's not helping you um, or helping you know this relationship come together. Right now, you really do need to kind of just release um this kind of need and longing you have to be with them because they're just not in that same energy right now they're very very self-focused so I do think there are feelings here you know they do look up to you and they're very very grateful to how much you've supported them and what a good friend you've been I feel like it was you that maybe introduced them to some of these spiritual concepts when, which has helped them find so much solace but right now it does feel like they are not in communication they've kind of pulled back so what's the guidance for you, part two? We've got the chariot in reverse. We've got the hermit. We've got the page of pentacles. And we've got the magician. So with the chariot in reverse, spirit is asking you not to chase this person. They're asking you to back off and leave this situ situation alone. Much like they are focusing on themselves, this is what you need to do as well. This is hermit energy. It's all about the power of solitude, about going within, about inner reflection. Um, you know, the page of pentacles asks you to keep communication practical. So again, if you work with this person, you have to communicate with them. You want to keep it professional and practical you want to hold back and not rush in and overwhelm this person because I do think they've been overwhelmed at times not because they don't like you because it makes them feel so uncomfortable and guilty that they can't give you what what they want what you want sorry um, but with the magician you know this is saying you do have all the power skills and tools you need to move through this situation gracefully and with dignity and you know you, you need to really trust and connect with your own power and divinity you're going to find a lot of magic there you're going to be able to manifest a healthy relationship that serves you now I don't believe a card's look more than six months ahead but I do feel like right now this person is very very self-focused and that's where you need to be as well said kind of similar energies from part one it might help you to watch that as well I do think the circumstances here are slightly different um, but for sure this person thinks highly of you 
but just isn't ready for a relationship with anyone right now. You know, they are definitely focusing on themselves, focusing on their own growth, you know, taking care of, of their own stuff, really, to be frank with you. Um, I, feel, I feel really guided just to pull another couple of cards for you. Heavy energies here. So I just wanted to kind of understand what had gone on between you two before. And I just feel like you probably had a very short-lived, very intense affair, dating, something like that. Um, but no one really felt ready to make a decision or make an offer. Um, I do feel like there may be a past life or soul connection here. And that's why, you know, you, you two kind of connected in a very powerful and strong way. But again... You know, I feel like spirit's asking you to reflect on the, the actual circumstances of you coming together because I'm hearing if you can do that and a bit more pragmatically, you'll see that, you know, that whilst there was something here, the timing was always off. Um, you know, the, 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 the indicators were kind of all there that this wasn't going to be something serious. So they are asking you to kind of be more aware when you're getting into these situations, you do have a tendency to kind of fantasize and idealize these connections and to start looking too far ahead before something's got off the ground. And of course, then you end up being disappointed. So this really is about learning to release expectations for you as well. You know, the hermit really asks you to get to know yourself. There's a lot of self-reflection that needs to happen here. But, you know, the chariot in reverse for guidance is really very, very clear. You know, this is saying, do not rush towards this person right now. Do not move towards them. This is a time to pull back and embrace that, that time to be on your own. And as I said, if you need to communicate with this person, keep it short, sharp, simple, professional or platonic, you know, and just trust in your own magic that you're going to attract the right kind of a relationship when the time is right for you. But right now, this person you know, they do see too many differences between you. I feel like that is a major block for them that they, you know, they, they sometimes do envisage, wow, this is the kind of person I'd marry. It's a shame we're so different. And then they kind of brush it off. But in part, I do think their heart is blocked. And so they don't allow themselves really to dwell on these kind of ideas. They're very focused on work and just kind of bringing them their own lives forward, you know, so they can feel better and, and more, more empowered in their own circumstances. So I really hope that helped part two. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy that today and it resonated for you, please tap the like button. It only takes you a second and it makes such a difference to my channel. It's a really small energy exchange by way of thanks for the free content I provide. And I appreciate it so much when you guys do that. The more you interact with my channel, the more YouTube will promote my videos. So every like, even the down votes are really helpful. And if you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see more, then do tap the subscribe button. Um, hit the little bell icon next to it and you'll get an update every time I post. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. You can find me over there at happysouls1111.com. Okay, part three, you chose the hexagon quartz and the muse tarot. So what are your person's intentions for this relationship right now? What do they want to happen between you? Let's have a look. What do they want to happen between you? We have got the nine of cups in reverse. The ten of cups. Queen of Cups, the Emperor in reverse, the Three of Wands, the World, the Devil in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. I'm going to get some Oracle cards as well. This is the Kipper Fortune Telling Deck. We've got change. We've got courthouse. We've got journey and high honor. 
and from the Vessel Oracle. If you're interested in what decks I'm using, you can find them all listed in the description box. We've got Truth and Light. Okay. I mean, this person wants completion with you. They definitely do want a committed relationship. You know, I feel like this person hasn't been in the best place, but they kind of feel like they've waited long enough. They've kept you waiting long enough. And they're sort of in this energy of, you know, it's now or never. There's probably never a perfect time. Um, so there is hesitancy here. You know, they are a little bit reluctant, but they are very much feeling very powerfully for you. You know, the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups demonstrate such a lot of um, love and really beautiful, unconditional love, emotion is the energies of union. Um, but they're, they're not really at their best. They're a little bit worried that they've still got some toxic relationship habits. Um, you know, they're definitely in this distorted masculine energy. They can be controlling at times. They can be jealous. This person may have addictions or destructive coping mechanisms. You know, this could be drugs, alcohol, gambling, partying. Um, so even though there is a lot of deep love for you here and a desire to come together, they're just very, very worried that they won't actually be able to sustain um, a relationship with you. But I do feel like this person's coming at this from a place of honesty this time. You know, they're, they're probably going to try and move things forward in a fairly lighthearted way. They do want this change. Now, with the courthouse card coming up, it's possible that this person's got some legal issues. It could be divorce or something else that's kind of keeping them stuck right now in these really distracting behaviors that they use to kind of cope with that level of stress. Um, there's a military connection here for some of you with a high honor. Um, and with the journey, it could be that this person isn't always around, you know, um, perhaps they don't always stay in the same area for very long due to their work. It does feel like they have quite an important, very stressful, very powerful role. And so, you know, this person does have a lot of distractions, but it, you know, they've kind of been waiting for the perfect conditions, the perfect timing to kind of make this relationship happen. And I just feel like they've arrived at the conclusion that there is no such thing as perfect timing and they should really try and make a go of it. But as I said, it's not without fear. It's not without resistance. How do they feel about you? So the King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, that's not a proper card. And the Four of Swords in reverse. I mean, there are very deep feelings here. Really, really deep feelings. And I think with the Seven of Pentacles especially, you know, this person sees you as a worthwhile investment. I do feel this person's quite pragmatic, even though there's a lot of cups energy here, a lot of emotional watery energy, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like this person probably has their Venus um, in an earth sign. You know, when they think about relationships, they do approach them from a very practical perspective and I feel like this person feels like they need to start investing in this connection they need to start investing you in you they want to take it slowly but you know they they do have these very very deep feelings I do feel that sometimes scares them and they do try not to think about it too much you know so they don't get carried away with themselves but I do feel like this person is tentatively you know going to come forward and and start trying to make make this connection move in the right direction. So let's see what the guidance is for you. We've got the seven of wands in reverse, the queen of pentacles and death. So for me, this is about not having, you know, too many barriers up. You know, don't create too many walls for this person to climb. You want to be in this energy of approaching this in the same kind of practical energy they are. Let's be really sensible. Let's take this slowly. Let's see how this goes. But you are guided to be open and nurturing. You know, I do think this person really loves that about you. You've got quite maternal energies. You're a very caring person. You may even work in the care sector. Um, but, you know, the, you're, you're moving into a, pay, a stage of deep transformation through 
your interactions with this person. I feel like this particular relationship pre presents energies and experiences that you haven't had before. And so spirit is asking you to embrace those differences rather than being put off by them. This might not have been the type of relationship you would normally choose for yourself. And so you are being asked to have an open mind. But there's also a warning here, as I said, about not having your wall up too high. I feel like you can be a bit of an ice queen or king if you're a man watching and that you know, you're know you kind of prone to pushing people away when they're not super demonstrative um, and you're not used to someone being you know really cautious, really slow and plodding and taking their time. I do think this person you're dealing with is actually quite gentlemanly. You know, they want to do things the right way. And even though you can get frustrated and a bit impatient with them at times, you know, I'm hearing really, it is a beautiful sign of respect that they are so, um, you know, so, so slow to move. You know, it, they, they don't want to rush it because they want to be sure. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to disrespect you. They don't want to let you down. There is a lot of stress that they're dealing with here, as I said, but this person does feel like they've waited long enough. I'm hearing for some of you, you could have been friends for a really long time and, you know, maybe this isn't the kind of most passionate connection, but there is a lot of deep friendship and love here and this person really does hold you in very high esteem and I th feel like they've identified the truth of their feelings for you and, as I said, it's kind of a, a now or never energy. So I really hope this helps, Pile 3. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy this reading, please do tap the like button. It really helps my channel to grow and it's just a really very much appreciated energy exchange for the reading I've done for you today. If you can tap that like button, it helps me so much. And if you would like to see more readings like this, please do tap the subscribe button, the little bell icon, and you will get an update every time I post. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.